Whoa, 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 whoa. Before you click off this video, I know you see the title, but listen to me. In order to understand drugs, sometimes you just gotta take them as well, you feel me? Whoa, I feel like I can get a level three on anything. You're welcome, uh, uh, you're welcome uh. Here's another glimpse in the life of Mr. Seldom On a mission to heaven so he can tell me well done. well done He got all my secrets, he promised he never tell none You're welcome, there's no other feeling like it What's good everybody, it's your boy Jamal underscore hockey And I am back with a much highly requested video Listen to me Perfect I know, man, I got that one video blowing up in terms of the nursing care of children, and I've been having people hit me up in my email telling me, make another video, make another video, make another one, man. Do you got notes on this? Do you got notes on that? Listen to me, man. I got y'all. Think I'm playing? But before I continue, I just want to clarify something. That was just a vitamin C pill, by the way. So don't go out taking any drugs or performance enhancing drugs thinking that it's going to help you get a level three. The only thing you need to get a level three on this exam is to listen to me, all right? So if you listen to Jamal and you watch the whole video and you make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and share the video, I can guarantee that you gonna make a level three. Do you believe me? Of course, of course. Where do we start from here? I think the first thing we should do is just say thanks for all the new subscribers that I got from that last video I got. And I guarantee you, if you thought that video was helpful in terms of all the stuff that I had in the documentation, um, in terms of the three bullet points I told you to focus on, on how to get the level three, in terms of my, you know, my delivery, Perfect. my um, charisma and all the things that you enjoyed um, about the video, then this is going to be all the same times 10 because I'm even more comfortable with them drugs. You feel me? I ain't saying I'm selling them. I ain't saying I'm slinging them. But what I can do is that I'm seeing them. Huh? Because when I do, I get it correct. Barbecue chicken. That's all I know when I see farm drugs. I can't eat that. So for starters, I'm gonna have something probably planned in the bottom of the screen or the corner of the screen. But I do want to start off by saying that I got a level three on my pharmacology. See, I'm not gonna lie to you with these videos that I'm gonna be putting out. If you want me to put a video out, I will tell you my level that I got on it and I will show you the grade. Um, there's gonna be some videos that I'm gonna touch on on how to get a level three in terms of med surge or how to get a level three on mental health because I am gonna be a psychiatric mental health nurse. Perfect. So of course I'm gonna focus on that a lot, but I'm kind of saving that to like, you know, another time because I wanna go really into it, you feel me? But there's gonna be some videos that I'm gonna do that I didn't get a level three on. Keep in mind, it may be something that I did earlier on in my nursing journey and my school didn't really emphasize the importance of of ATI, you know? So I didn't really understand the importance of it until I got my level three on pediatrics, AKA nursing care of children. So if you're still watching this video and sticking around, I got a lot of tips and nuggets for you, but listen to me. I gave that last one out for free. But why? Why would you do that? Why would you do any of that? I, it's a little bit questionable if I'm gonna be giving out this document for free because it's really good. <laughs> And I'm gonna be real with you, bare minimum, l looking at this document, you will get a level two, bare minimum. You can get a level three looking at this. Oh. Oh, is that so? So depending on how we doing with the, um, you know, subscribers, depending on how we doing with the liking, y'all gotta like the video up. Y'all gotta run that up, all right? Perfect. I can share it to you, but it may be a little, little bit behind it. But I'm gonna let you judge for yourself. So let's go ahead and start into this video really quickly. So first things first, the grade that I made on my pharmacology to get this level three was at 86.7%. Now that's pretty high. I didn't really miss too many questions because I think in total, 
there's um, 70 questions. Um, only 60 other questions are actually graded. Someone actually left a comment on my um, one of my videos asking me in terms of how are these proctor exams graded. So when you're doing your practice assessment, you're doing like 60 questions, like practice A, practice B, which I'm going to get into in a second. And those are like 60 questions that you're going to do. But when you take the actual proctor exam, they give you 70 questions. Now, I know what you're thinking, like, whoa, 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 whoa. I didn't sign up for this. I only signed up for 60. Why are they giving me 70? Those are just like research questions, apparently, that ATI system is gathering information on you. So rather you get it right or wrong, it's not going to count towards your grade. Now, so what that means is you need to make sure you get the 60 that do count correct. Because even if you get the stuff that you get, you know, that don't count for your grade correct, but you got 20 of them wrong, it don't matter because you still got 20 wrong. What? So similar to how my first video that I did in terms of how to get a level three, this is going to be somewhat similar, but a little bit of tweaking. So I know what you think. It's like drugs, 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 pharmacology. It's a little bit different because they can ask me any kind of drug, right, Jamal? But if you listen to me, I got you. So I know what you think. You're like, dope. Look how thick this book is in terms of a drug handbook so you can get a wide range of all these different drugs but see ATI see they're not a dummy stupid they're not gonna just be asking about drugs that only like two people know they're gonna be asking about things that you know you'll be able to pick up on certain patterns certain spellings i don't want to reveal too much just yet so let's go ahead and work our way down this list there's three things ultimately that people need to focus on in order to get a level three on pharmacology ati proctor exam the first things first as i said before my last one and i do actually have the book is to read through the pharmacology ati book now here's what i'm gonna say if you ask me, hey, Jamal, did you read the book? Hell no, I did not. What? I do like reading, but the type of reading that I like doing is reading is going to help me make money. You know, think and grow rich, how to win friends and influence people, things in relation to those type of things. But did I read through the ATI book? Not exactly. But what I did do was I downloaded the PDF ebook, the electronic book, and what I did was I just typed in and went through certain sections that I chose to, you know, spot treat, you know, so similar to what I said in the last video, I didn't read through page through page through page. Why would I waste my time reading about a drug that I'm already well versed in? You know what I mean? So I didn't want to waste my time doing that. On top of that, with how my quarter was set up with this, um, when I took the exam, I was really crunched on time. So I really had to consolidate my research and I had to consolidate my studying time to make the most, uh, to make my time the most effective and the most conducive to my learning. Perfect. So all in all, if you're someone that's really keyword, these videos is trying to focus on people who are literally aiming for a level three. If you're aiming for like a level two, a level one, I, why you even clicked on the video you're just curious at this point right <laughs> i know or you like how i look yeah <laughs> but besides that if you really want a level three and you want to guarantee that you get a level three the information that they're pulling from 97 percent is going to be from the book now the other three percent they just made that ish up i'm not gonna, i'm not gonna front with you i swear to god i found some drugs before that don't even exist. You just didn't want me to get a 100, basically. No. Nope. The second thing to focus on after someone is like kind of going through the book, again, with these points that I'm doing, you're kind of going to be doing these like simultaneously and intertwining them with one another. There's no order to these steps. It's really just me listing out things that work for me, that will work for you, that you can implement into your strategy or, or your workflow or however you, you know, your process is. This is not my job for me to change something that has been working for you your whole nursing school journey. All I'm doing is like introducing something that you can have the opportunity to implement into your strategy to make sure we are, you know, perfecting something of what you already doing. 
adding on to something that can, you know, making it more complete, more full, you know? Sprinkling a little yeast in that, in that flour to make us some bread. Oh! So the second thing to focus on right here is lots and lots and lots of practice questions. Now, I actually want to kind of double down on this even more so than I did with pediatrics. The reason why, because the more that you are um, exposed to drugs, and I'm not talking about like LSD, marijuana, and cocaine, you know what I mean? I'm not talking about them drugs. Hmm. I'm talking about, you know, heparin, you know, warfarin, you know, uh, pro propanolol, you know, uh, clozapine, any, you know, I'm just throwing out drugs off, off the top of my head. Uh, metropolol, any, just the more you're exposed to drugs, the more you're familiar with it, the more comfortable you are with it. You start picking up on certain things like, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, I've seen this drug before, right? Oh, oh, oh. See, the, I don't want to jump ahead now. I don't want to jump ahead. But the exposure to the questions will help you get more familiar with it and more comfortable with it. So when you're taking the proctor exam, you ain't worried. You're not stressed. In fact, you're like, I know I'm going to get a level three on this because I've seen this drug before. <laughs> I know what they do. Perfect. Them adverse effects, I got those. Contraindications, I got those. Precautions, oh yeah, I got those. You talking about the nursing considerations for, you know what I'm saying? Um, I got those. Oh. Oh. When diving into these practice questions, where exactly am I gonna go, Jamal, to get more well versed with this. You actually have a couple of options and I'm gonna try to show a video of locations of where you can go. Everyone's pretty familiar with the practice assessments in the test tab for pharmacology, right? So you're gonna do practice A and practice B. There's gonna be really nothing new in terms of what I'm gonna tell you that I didn't say with the first video. The first video I said, take both of them three times each. Now, if you have some time, so let's say for instance, you have like four to five weeks, Try to space out how you're studying for this stuff. So let's say for instance, you're doing the practice assessments. Don't do these practice assessments like, let's say for instance, week one, day one, and you did a practice assessment A. And then week one, day two, you did the same practice assessment A. Bro, you're familiar with the questions already. Stupid. Move on to something else, right? Do something else in terms of your practice questions, which I'm gonna get into in a second. So you wanna space out those practice assessments. Because those practice assessments, what they do have, they have the opportunity of um, study material, which in most schools, they call it remediation. So you can go into that study material section to look at what you missed, and it will highlight sections within the book, the pharmacology book, on the information that's going to help you get that question right again, if you see that material again. So that's something that's good. So space out how you're doing those assessments. If you wanna know how to space them out, what I do is I wait about a week in between or several days in between. Cause that way I don't remember the material too much. And when I go into it, it's still kind of fresh to see if what I've been learning recently will allow me to get a higher score than my first attempt. Does that make sense? Um, the second thing is you wanna go to your learning system 3.0. Now, I already made a video on this learning system 3.0. Now, what this is going to do is when you click on learning system 3.0, you got standard quizzes and dynamic quizzes. Now, I'm about to throw something in there that's going to be a little bit different than what I did last time. So, you actually want to implement and do both of these. But for the start, I would recommend starting on the dynamic quiz. Now, when you go through dynamic quiz and when you're creating new quizzes for and questions to take you want to literally clear out all of them and only select pharmacology when you select pharmacology there's going to be 404 questions for you to take at least for my learning system that was 404 now it only makes you take a maximum of 200 however you want to take these questions you do you if you want to do them 200 at a time i don't care if you want to do them 10 questions at a time, it, it doesn't matter to me at all. Now, if you ask me, hey, Jamal, what, is, what do you recommend? You the dude that got the level three. Perfect. 
I personally recommend something that is comfortable to a to something that you can do in one sitting. Does that make sense? So what I did first was I first started on doing these questions in study mode. And I would just like make a I'm talking about I'll just make something for 200 questions. And the thing is, is it's in study mode. It's not time. So you can take pauses, take breaks, go eat, go take a dump, you know, go watch a movie on Netflix if you have the time. It don't matter. Scratch your butt, scratch your neck, stupid, whatever you have the time to do. Get some help. But the thing is, it's something that's comfortable for you, something that you can do within a reasonable time. You don't get mental fatigue while doing it. And when you under and, and that the fact that you get to understand the material when you're doing it, you know what I mean? So my workflow that I did, dynamic quiz, boom, perfect study mode, boom. perfect. I will make the um the quiz, boom. Perfect. And then what I would do is I'm just kind of not blitzing through, but I'm going through the material and I'm marking anything that I got incorrect or anything that I know I guessed on. And reason why, because I'm trying to revisit the question. I don't want to just blitz through and not see it again. I want to see it again. See, I'm the type of person, if I spend some time with you and I like you, I want to see you again. Perfect. And that's how I treat my questions. You see, I like you and I want you. We can do this the easy way or the hard way. The choice is yours. You think I'm playing? And the choice was mine. So when I click the mark, I want to see it again. So that's what you want to do. Study mode. Go through it, see the rationales, understand the rationale, see what, see why the answer is correct, see why the answer that's incorrect is incorrect, because there's a lot of nuggets in, in those incorrect answers. Oh! Once you go through all of the questions that you need to go through in study mode, next thing you need to do is go through it in timed mode, the test mode or whatever. And you can do it timed or untimed, however you wanna do it. See, I'm adding in other stuff that I didn't do with this other video. Reason why, because I'm really trying to, I'm really trying to help y'all get this level three. This video is not a joke. And that's why I'm so serious about the notes that I'm gonna share with you. And when I show you what the notes look like at the end of the video, you are gonna see, oh, this dude is not playing. So you want to be able to become a master at identifying these drugs, a master at identifying these patterns. That's the whole purpose of redoing this information over and over and over. It's not supposed to become tedious, but it's, it's supposed to become something that you realize the patterns of what ATI is trying to do in hopes of you getting the level three or the getting the score that you want. That's all that this is trying to do. I'm not trying to get you fatigued. I'm not trying to wear you out. This is simply something for you to do to implement a strategy that's going to allow you to pass successfully on your first attempt. And the next thing to do in relation to, again, this is all still within the same thing about doing a lots of practice questions. Because again, I'm focused on three points and I'm going to do a, a quick um, overview of all the three points at the end of the video. So again, the next thing is to go through Quizlet, like I did in the last video, and search up different ATI, pharmacology, proctored um, exam practice or whatever. And the reason why this is super important is because that's information through Quizlet that's going to allow you to see other drugs that you probably didn't get to see that first time or that second time or that third time around when you were studying within that um within the learning system. And by the way, I forgot to add this other thing in relation to this learning system. Once you finish with the dynamic quiz stuff, head back into learning system 3.0, and instead of going dynamic quiz, go to standard quizzes. And there's about either two to three different quizzes for each subject. And so you wanna also take the pharmacology ones for more practice. It's about 40 to 60 questions on each of those. So it's just a it's just an opportunity to be introduced to more questions. So again, go through that. So both dynamic and standard. After you finish that, also do the Quizlet. You're gonna find a lot of helpful things through there. And again, you can look at it. You can look at it or not look at it. Honestly, just use an ATI by itself is already good enough. So that's all within the second point. So the first point that I did so far was read through the book or the electronic book. The second point that I did so far was do tons of practice questions. And my third and final point 
is you got to become a master at, at learning the groups and classifications of drugs. You have to master understanding the spelling of the drug. And I'm going to tell you right now, I wanted to save this for last because this is the most important thing. You do not have to be the smartest person in the world. Now, understand getting the level three on this exam is one of the hardest to do out of all the proctored exams. So your ability to be able to get a level three on here is basically um, is basically hanging on your ability to be able to master the classification of drugs. Case in point, there's going to be times when you're going to look at a drug. And you're going to be like, I never seen this a day in my life. No. Nope. But there's going to be something that's unique about it. Let's see. Is the ending of it spelled A-L-O-L? -L? Is it like, you know, one of the, like a beta blocker type drug, right? So you got to be good at classifying different things. Case in point. And this is all in my notes, by the way. And I'm going to give you an example. ACE, in, uh, ACE inhibitors, the prills, you know, P-R-I-L. So you're going to be able to notice that. The sartans, the arbs, you know what I'm saying? Also in relation to our blood pressure medication, the uh, statins, right? You know about the statins, things that's in relation to your cholesterol, right? The O's, the beta, uh, uh, the beta blockers, right? Uh, you got the the mycins, the amino glycins, or however you say it. That's the things that's in relation to an antibiotic. You got the feel, right? The F I L, so, uh, symphenidyl, or however you say it. Things in relation to erectile dysfunction. See, sometimes you may not know what the drug or the genetic. And make sure you understand generic drugs. They're not going to be asking you brand names. So if you if your if your class or your school or your program don't focus on generic drug, you need to say bump that. I need to learn what this generic drug is because that's what they going to ask me on this uh, proctor exam. And I need to get familiar with it. Understand the spelling of these drugs because it's so it's so important to you passing. That's a great idea. And again, reason why this is super important, and I know this video may be kind of on the longer end, but I guarantee you, if you watch every minute of this, you will get a level three. I can guarantee you that. You will get like bare minimum a level two, but if you truly believe, you will get a level three. Simple as that. Um, let me just go ahead and just show you the document show you what it looks like and you will see why it's so good i think my total document that i added and kind of put together in this pdf so it's gonna be a pdf and a word document in order to get access to this um I, like i said there's gonna be some stuff y'all gonna have to do okay so let me just show you what it looks like really quickly so for starters um this is my word document right here now the word document by itself is just um, 24 pages. As you can see what I was talking about in the beginning in relation to the effectiveness of understanding and learning how to group the drugs based off its spelling. This will actually help you in the long run. Case in point, when you're looking at certain drugs and you're not familiar with it and you're stuck on it and you're wondering like, yo, I don't know um, what adverse effect is of this drug. Well, if you're familiar with other drugs within the same classification based off the spelling of the drug, it kind of helps you narrow down your answer choices to kind of know what the um, basically what the answer may be. Does that make sense? Again, this is 24 pages long and, and even better. Um, I have even another document, um, which is a like I said, the PDF, the PDF itself is actually 42 pages long. Now, the cool thing about the PDF is I have this additional information that I got from me being in my final quarter of nursing school. I'm actually done with it. And it has a whole bunch of helpful information that will actually help a person out to ensure that they get a level three because it's filled with a lot of helpful tips and hints to make sure they pass. Oh my goodness. So with going back to all this thing i want to wrap this up really quickly to end it all out and i'm gonna give you a couple of other examples when in doubt when you're looking at certain questions and it's dealing with drugs and it's talking about adverse effects or complications and you're kind of questioning what it does to the body when in doubt it's probably going to affect the liver because when you're thinking about first pass effects of drugs and being able to pass and having this effect on the liver, if your liver is not functioning correctly, it's going to cause some type of toxicity or buildup of the drug because the drug is not able to pass through the body 
effectively. Perfect. So when in doubt, if you see liver dysfunction or some type of liver toxicity to some degree, that may be the answer. In addition, if liver's not there, then it may be some cause of some type of complication to the kidneys because kidneys are involved with the elimination of certain things as well. Let's say, for instance, if you're taking a certain drug and it causes a buildup of uh, potassium in the body, but then that buildup of potassium in the body, if your kidneys is not functioning well, it's still going to lead to even more um, hyperkalemia. So it's going to cause even more buildup of potassium. So it's just certain things like that. So taking this drug like this Captopril that leads to things like um, hyperkalemia. But then this person, and again, it's a blood pressure medication. But let's say, for instance, the person's kidneys are not functioning properly. What do you think we're going to do? What do you think we're going to check? What do you think we're going to monitor? It's like things of that nature. Think like a nurse when you're actually implementing these drugs, the administration of the drugs, how to take the drug, when to take the drug, how often to take the drug. Uh, do I take it on an empty stomach? After I take this drug, do I need to like remain in an upright position for 30 minutes? It's things like that that you have to factor in. Think, of, think about your electrolyte um, balances or imbalances. What type of things that is going to shift within the body if I take this certain drug at this time? Is it going to cause insomnia? Things in relation to your um, antipsychotic medications, they always going to lead to some type of um, dry, drowsiness, dryness, blurred vision, constipation, things like anti um, anticholinergic type of effect medications, things that ends with like INE, anything in relation to an anticholinergic dry mouth dry eyes constipation things that's going to be in relation to that so just get good at becoming familiar with grouping this stuff together and like i said i guarantee you you will get a level three so like i said read through the book do tons of practice questions and get familiar with the spellings the classifications and the patterns of these drugs but wait that's pretty much it for the video if you want access to this Hit me up in my email. We can work out something. I don't have a Patreon. I do have a Cash App. So if you really want access to this, make sure you like, like, like the video, run them likes up. Make sure you share the video with all your nursing school buddies and everything. And again, I appreciate that y'all sharing the other video that I did on how to get a level three. Lots of positive comments from people saying that they got a level three or they got a level two because of looking at the stuff. So I have um actual feedback and reviews from people who are using the stuff that i'm doing so again make sure you like the, uh like the video leave a comment let me know if you really found what i did helpful subscribe to the channel let's actually get this channel to above a thousand subscribers because i'm trying to now upload a lot more again this is super helpful leave a comment and do all those things this is your boy jamal underscore hockey peace out uh, it's the act of God, I used to act a fool But now I act in movies, actually I'm just making moves We still making music, tell you about my past To secure my future, I'm all in my bag Flow like a computer, that's a humble brag uh.